In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up direct deposit on the Bank of America application. The first thing you want to do is you want to log into the app and then you want to go ahead and select on the account that you want to go ahead and set up direct deposit for. So for this video, we're going to be setting up direct deposit for this account. So I'm just going to go ahead and select on that. Then it is going to give you a dashboard, your balance will appear and stuff like that. You guys can see your account and routing number. But basically, all we need to do is we need to go ahead and continue scrolling down until we see this option over here that does say set up direct deposit. So let's go ahead and press on that. Then it is going to direct us to a page that looks like this. And essentially what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fill out a form. Okay, so here we are. So it is actually going to give us some directions over here. So step number one is to complete the online form on this page. And then we need to go ahead and print and sign the form. Or we can go ahead and save it to our device. And then we can go ahead and set up the direct deposit credit alert to receive an email or text message. One hour deposit has been credited to our account. So all you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And once you scroll down over here, it is actually going to show your address and some of your personal information and basically you need to go ahead and select on the account that you want to receive your direct deposit on you can split your deposit between multiple bank accounts as well if that's something you're interested in so make sure that your bank account is actually selected so yeah mine is selected over here uh here is my bank and then we need to go ahead and press on the percentage of pay to deposit to this amount so you guys can keep it simple and put 100 percent. but if you guys want to go ahead and do 50 percent, that is definitely something you could do but if you want the entirety of your pay to go directly to uh, Bank of America, then you want to go ahead and press on 100%. Then where it says employer or payment issuer name, you want to go ahead and put yes the name of your employer or the company you work at. So let's say for example, we work at YouTube, we can go ahead and do that. And now let's go ahead and press on download PDF. Then let's go ahead and press on download one more time. And then let's go ahead and actually open it up. Okay, so here's how the form will look like. So as you're able to tell, a check will appear. So basically what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and use this form and you want to go ahead and put your customer name, which is basically the company you work at, then your own signature and the date. So make sure to go ahead and put in all that information. All right, so once you went ahead and completed the information and put in your signature and stuff like that, you want to go ahead and just press on download just like so. And you want to make sure you do have a copy of this file on your device. Then you want to go ahead and head back to the website. <clears throat> and by the way, whenever you are doing this process, you may need to go ahead and submit your account and routing number. So to do that, all you want to do is you want to go back to the main menu, then press on account and routing number. And then you should see both of those pieces of information right over there. Okay, so now that you went ahead and downloaded your file and you got all your information ready the next step is to go ahead and submit this form to our employer or payer so to do that we can go ahead and submit and upload the form or details through our employer's payroll portal so that step will really depend on what your employer is. So some employers use an application like Workday or they use ADP. But basically, you want to go ahead and submit the form that we did fill out to your employer. And then they will go ahead and make the adjusted changes. And then from there, you should actually be able to go ahead and get direct deposit finished. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.